Tech TV, and I'm here with Will from Tadao. How are you doing? Very good. And Miko Hootman of the LA Ironman. Good to see you guys again. And we're here to talk about the brand new um, the Tadao OLED board for the ultralight. Now, what I want to do is I want to start off really quick, and, and for some of the people that are brand new to paintball that haven't met you yet, uh, Will, if you could talk about Tadao, how long have you folks been in business? How long have you been making boards? Uh, I started Tadao uh, my last year of college, actually, in 2004. And uh, I mean, it, it kind of took off from there. I, I didn't take a normal job. I just went full time into working on electronics for paintball. Um, and it's become quite a big thing. I have a few, uh, few family members that work for me. And, uh, you know, just keep on going and keep pushing it. Very cool. Very good. Now, what was actually your first board that you came out with? Old school Matrix, so predecessor, <laughs> predecessor to, to what what is out now. Yeah. Very cool. That was yeah, 2003, 2004, and then um, throughout the years, you've released quite a few. Um, obviously, DM boards. I mean, the DM4 and the DM5. You had the uh, the chip upgrade that yes. you were doing, and then then you started making the ultralight boards, um, and then so that you made some ultralight boards, and then. When, when did you start getting the idea to start coming and start making the OLED boards? Uh, in the fall of uh, 2006, actually. So okay. we started to experiment with it, and uh, enough people had enough you know, good interest, and the uh, technology had matured enough to actually make you know, the screen and have it be small enough and fit in the frames. Yeah. Very cool. Now, for some of the people that, don't, that may be brand new to up, uh, updating their boards, what exactly does OLED mean? How is that different than a traditional LCD screen? What What is basically the difference? Well, an OLED screen is unique in that it actually is a, a huge array or matrix of LEDs, and each one of them emits light. And so it doesn't use much power as long as all the pixels aren't lit at once. And so compared to an LCD, which has to have a backlight that covers the whole entire thing, it's much more power efficient. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Very good. Now, um, obviously, Miko, this is your board. Um, when did you start using the Tadao board in your gun? When was the first time you tried it out? The first time was in, um, hold on, it was 2006. Okay. 2006, we played in the San Diego MPBLs, and I, I actually grabbed Eric Roberts, who used to play in Ironman. I mm -hmm. got his gun, and I was like, hey, what is that board? It's doing really good. He's right. like, oh, it's a Tadao board. Then I went like, <laughs> oh, give me one of those. And I put one on my gun, I played the whole tournament, and mm -hmm. then I, I, I knew Will before. So then I kind of like got together with Bill through my through Stalo, who used to play in Ironman too. He yep. was very good friends of Bill, so he was like, "Hey, let's uh, let's do something together." So then the next year I was using the what was that board called? Uh, the, the basic, just the ultralight yeah, one, yeah, one. without the screen. Yeah. So that's how yeah. I got into it. I was like, "This board is good." So very nice. Now this, um, now I remember now the the OLED board. Was San Diego when you actually debuted this? Was MPPL San Diego at the end of last year? Was when the, uh, that was the first time I actually saw this board? Yes, uh, the USB one. Yeah, USB one. right. Yeah. So and 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 uh, obviously it comes with the you know the uh, what are they, the polycarbonate? Is that what the what yes kind of grips the Stinger grips? Yeah. Stinger makes them for us. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Now let's talk. Let's get into some of the features of this particular OLED board. Now, there's two different versions, correct? There's one with the USB and one without? Correct. Okay, now what are the advantages of spending the additional money and getting the USB versus not getting it? Having the whole USB connection right on the board makes it really easy because I, uh, I wrote a Windows program and it lets you download firmware updates online and then you can reflash the board yourself at home. Okay. Yeah, you can also change all the settings, you can customize the boot screen, it just makes it much easier. Now, yeah. now when um, I had done the video back a few, uh, back a few uh, about two months ago, um, when yours first released, and and basically it's what is it? Is a 96 by 200? Is that what the 96 by 16 uh, pixel right. display? Yeah. And you can make it whatever you want. Yeah, it's actually like a light bright interface. You can go through and turn on and off each pixel, or you can import uh, bitmap images that you create in Photoshop or any other graphic art utility. Very nice, very nice. Now, obviously, the, you know, you know, times are tough and money is tight. Um, and when people are looking into upgrading a board, obviously the stock board that comes with the gun is going to have a factory warranty. If they update their board to the Tadao board, what is the warranty that you're coming It's a lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. Very good. Yeah. Very good. And I mean, so how, I mean, since you've had this in your gun, what have you, I mean, what have you thought about it? I mean, have you noticed you're going to be a little bit more responsive? I mean, what, what, have, what have you, I mean, obviously with you working for die, you know, you know, you know the, uh, the die boards really, really well. Um, you know, what, 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 have, 
been your thoughts so far when you're actually out there playing? No, the best thing about this sport is the, uh, is the creep, screen. Right. So basically, you know, you want to change the settings and go from semi-auto to a PSP first. Mm -hmm. Everything goes through that seat. You don't have to guess. You have you don't have to be guessing of different lights right. passing, and you know, it just says like, okay, so, you know, the firing mode. Right, and right. You just go semi out of PSP first. That's all the firing modes. Millennium. You know, right. wherever I go play, I just change that right there. Mm -hmm. And then a second thing is like adjusting rate of fire. Right. It's so easy. You just go there like 12.5, 12.6. Right. And it's right there. You know, it's yeah. like. The Chrono guys in the NXL field, they're like, hey, your gun is really accurate. That's right. what they actually told me here. That I'm right in the limit. Right. And I can just change it, you know, no big big deal. Don't have to count the blasting lights. Mm -hmm. And then just like, you know, whatever I need to change, like I say, it's a super easy for that screen. And, right. and uh, then like like I said, the first time I used the Tata board, I was just happy it was super fast. Right, right. You know, you go play semi out of and just like response randomly. Right when you start walking the trigger, mm -hmm. it's just fast. Another question I'm going to get is, what is the default, the, the trigger pull switch on the stock dive board? Is that an 80 gram or a 25 gram? It's an 80. 80 gram. Now, what's the, the switch that you put in this one? Is it also an 80? Yeah, it's also okay. an 80, so the feel stays exactly the same. Okay, good, good. Because sometimes some people wonder about that. Well, if I go to a 25 gram, sometimes it feels a little too mushy. But, yeah, so the 80 gram, it gives a nice positive kick every time you, you push it. Now, let's talk about the grips. Um, obviously, the ultralight frame has got a very unique grip. I mean, it's got the hourglass shape. And these are shaped very, very well. Um, and you know, when when they're on the grip frame, I mean, have you noticed any you know any dirt getting inside here or anything? I mean, how, you know, how well you know that looks like that's made on there really, really well. When you're out there playing, obviously, you being a pro player, do you notice any sort of dirt getting into the gun or anything like that or inside of the grip frame? No, especially if, when you use this. Uh, this uh, when you use this little seal thing. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah some go neoprene gaskets. The and uh, and a hard piece like this. And you don't get any dirt inside. Wow, I've actually I've never seen that before. Yeah, they all come with a set now. Wow, what this is, and, and for you guys to know, this is basically kind of like the same material that they yeah. use in the soft ears. And uh, what this is, is it's how thick is this? Maybe 32nd, 16th, or? Uh, probably 16th. Yeah, inch. yeah. So it's 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 a thin. Uh, Two millimeters. Yeah, yeah. thin a, a, a thin layer. It's almost like a um, almost like a gasket. That goes in between there. Would you say that this also helps it be a little bit more water resistant for like? Yeah, it completely out? seals yeah. it. Really? Yeah. Wow. No, nothing goes in there. And it compresses down to nothing. So oh, okay. It just fills any gaps if there are any. Very nice. Very nice. Well, good stuff. Well, what we'll do here is we'll bring the camera in a little bit closer. Um, just kind of show the board. We're going to pull it off and show the USB interface. Be cool. Be good board. Insert board itself. Just like that. Set of stinger grips. Uh, the, whoop. Neoprene gaskets, and then you have your instructions, stickers, and an RF harness in case you use a Magna or a uh, Prophecy. So the board itself, you can see the Mini B <laughs> USB port the screen on the back side. Still has uh, battery clips, 80 gram trigger switch, and then it also has ribbon eye connectors for both of the Protos. The old school like 05s use the three uh, three pins and the four pins, and then the normal three pin eye connector for uh, all the DMs. New uh, Tadao Technologies, the, uh, the Miko board, and uh, for people that are looking into getting more information on your board, what's the website they can go to? Uh, TadaoTechnologies.com. Very cool, very cool. Well, I really appreciate Thanks. your time. Thank you very much. Miko, once again, it's always a pleasure to meet you. Uh, so go check out the, uh, the Tadao USB board at TadaoTechnologies.com. Thank you. I'll take care of you if it happens, he well. Right yeah. He's a yeah. huge fan. No, no lower. Lower. <laughs> yeah, right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell your girlfriend. She's probably real. She's probably right here. You need to do like a smiley face a bit, though, right? Smiley face? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll do an Asian. What you need to do is, is you need to write. Asian you've just okay. You need to write. You've just been spooked by Kepi Bean. Yeah, I probably.